Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create the base for our Groot figure. And this is just a big piece of foam that I had laying around. And I'm going to cut out a basic shape, and I'm going to be shaping this mostly by just breaking it off, you know, chopping off some of the hard corners, and then just sort of breaking it off with my fingers. Now we're going to stack these up a little bit, just sort of give it some height. The Groot figure is quite large. I don't really want a gigantic base so I can put it on my desk or on a shelf, but I think that the base has to have a little bit of dimensionality to it, since the figure is so big and we just glued those on and of course they fell off and we'll glue them back on and i think i like how he sits on here so i'm going to outline his feet so i know where he's going to be because uh, later on we're going to be putting some uh, sort of plaster all over this and we need to know where his feet are going to be and i'm actually digging it out a little bit so that he sits deeper into the base to help give it a little bit more stability and now i'm just using some all-purpose spackle here with a pretty big knife and i'm just sort of going all around the figure uh, all around the base that i created out of foam and covering it up like frosting a cake making some flat areas and sort of dabbing the the, the goop on to make sure that it has a sort of of natural look we don't want it to look too neat and then after a day there it is and of course all the links will be below when everything i use in the video covered it with some gray dark black and now i'm just going to skate over the the higher areas with a lighter gray and this is going to really help you know accentuate the highlights and then knock back those shadows to give something like this depth and here you can really see how just not going in you know hard with the brush and it's a pretty dry brush you can get a really nice effect uh, with some light and some shadow and then I just hit it with a little bit of almost like white I think it is white with some gray over the highest of the peaks to really make them stand out and give it a lot more dimension now it's figure time. I just went ahead and glued it up and used a regular, you know, it's still wet, uh, can spray paint to give it, you know, fill them all in. And now I'm going to do the details. And here I'm doing the same thing I did with the base, but with a much lighter brush. So this is really dry brushing. I'm using like a burnt umber with a little bit of red in it. And I'm just letting the brush sort of skate over the higher parts of the model. Because of course, that's where the light would be hitting it. And that's where, you know, the, the lightest points are going to be. And as you can see, of course, the face, this area, the brow and the ridges, uh, the, the brow would cut hit the light and collect the light even more than lower so i'm not going to paint inside or under the eyes because that brow line will really be uh kicking uh, and, and keeping the light from hitting that area so uh it's going to work really well by just sort of hitting the high points the nose and the ridge lines and this is turning out really great now the modeler did a lot of the heavy lifting by having so much detail put in and you can see just by skating over the model and not pushing it into the to the cracks and crevices that we can get this depth now i'm just doing the eyes two little black uh, almonds uh and <laughs> i kind of screwed them up look how round that eye is it's really bad i will fix that later and there we go again i'll fix the eye a little bit later now i'm going to be using the army's dark tone to push into the cracks and crevices to really accentuate the detail and i'm really starting to love this uh this army uh, uh washes they just have uh, uh they create so much depth and really bring a piece to life now this is the strong wash with actual uh, some brown wash uh brown brown uh, wash in it so this way it's not completely black but it's got some brown to it now you can really start to see how when this gets pushed into the cracks and crevices of which there are a lot in this model again the modeler did an incredible job links to his site and his facebook area are below
And there you can see, see how it just fills in those spaces? And now, yes, I started to get a little fancy here. I watch a lot of modeling channels. People will do scale modeling. And I saw people using this moss and I said, this would be perfect. So I used a uh, old brush that I could just toss and I put some super glue on it. And I'm just putting this moss throughout the model, places I think it would make sense or just kind of look cool to really sort of jump it up a little bit just because uh why not and i thought let's use it on the base too so i painted some of it brown uh, just to give it a little bit more texture a little bit more of a, a different look so they're not all green and then i've got these little sticker uh pieces of grass that i found on this modeling site and that those just stick on i didn't even have to glue it and there we go i'm really liking how that base is turning out just tossing little bits here and there now it is time to glue him on and you can really see in this pick here uh, just the dimension that that rock has by doing those dry brushing and there he is Groot I love this statue a he's such a cool character and the modeler did such an amazing job with the pose and all the cracks and crevices that army wash really really accentuates those and I'm super happy with my first base that I made from scratch. So check out the links in the description below for this modeler to pick up any of his other models. Just amazing work. And there'll also be links below for all the products I used to create this awesome model. They are Amazon affiliate links. And of course, when you pick them up, they help out the channel. Thank you.